Gloves are off. Gloves are off. GLM8. What's up, family? Woo, we made it. Wow. The last two weeks has really been, uh, it's been a lot going on. It's been a lot going on. And uh, so, obviously, I've been waiting to get back into this space. My cup runneth over. Man, they're just begging and pleading and praying I can't wake you up to your real power. I mean, I know some of y'all, y'all, y'all rolling over in your sleep and you're using a little bit of your powers already. But I'm talking about a, a vivid power. Like, they, they're really, really scared about this. I wish... I know they probably wish I would just go away. Like, he just go away. He's going on live again. He's going to do it. Someone's going to end up getting this recorded. They're going to like it and share it. Okay, look. So this is what we're going to do first because, man, I had, they had, yeah, they had gotten me so upset. I mean, I was so upset. I got happy again. That's literally what happened. Like, I got so upset, it just flipped back around to the other side again. And I was like, okay. Mm, because I really have something that I need to, you know, they say, you know, I need to get this off my chest today. Like, I, I really have something that I just need to set it straight for the record. Because, you know, it, I just have to refer this recording to people every time they come at me about something after today. I'll be like, hey, just listen to this. So... If you're in here and you're listening to this, all I need to know is that you can hear me. <laughs> because if I go flying off into this and nobody can hear me, then that yeah, gets really crazy. You know what I mean? Because I'll be like, oh, now I got to say the same thing twice. So I'm going to wait for that. So I just got to say I'm, you're clear. There must be a hell of a lag on this, by the way. Like, because I, okay, great. Thank you, sis. She always coming through. So check it out. All right. So. <sighs> I just wanted to do that just as a, a reference point in this conversation that you can always just. <sighs> and just let it all go. Become everything. See your kids. Be like, man, get my belt, <laughs> get my belt. Like your mama used to say, get my belt because they going to need some chastisement for this. Now, I'm literally going to show you how. Man, I don't got no love for them today. These idiots have locked most of humanity out of the out of their power. And they've done it so well. It's like what I call the forked tongue. It's like they tell the truth, but they tell it as a variant of, of a lie. It's some weird stuff. When you start playing around with the language, it's kind of like the maybe. That's why in, in ancient, ancient tongues, there's no maybe. It's like it either is or it isn't. There's no maybe. But in English, there's a maybe. So this maybe, which is basically this fake world where people create fake things and those things are like maybes, like wannabes. Look at that word, a maybe. Like there's a lot of bees and maze. It's just like, it's just a wannabe. It ain't the real thing. And I'm going to show you why. If you know the master blueprint, which could be called the template, you can create real things because you already have the power. But if you get confused with your ego, because that's their device. They use your ego, ego and your ego is the key to hypnosis because your ego will say, not me. Shit, I'm awoke. <laughs> I'm talking about the rest of it. Shoot, not me. That ain't, that's, <laughs> and it be you. The reason why I was able to level up like this was because I took my own medicine. I realized that, yo, you got some, you got some issues to work on, and I'm glad you're realizing this because now we can start the work. This is the great work. I'm going to show you piece by piece how they stole your stuff. <laughs> Use it against you. Bar you from using it and then mis misrepresent it to make you think that it's something that is not. This is your master knowledge, your template, who you are. And with that, they have you on a destroyed mission Crashing headlong into others who are also doing the same thing and how when you correct your course, when you grab up on your joystick and pull back on the throttle, 
that you can actually make this ascent and make this activation which is available for you. It was always available for you. The knowledge that has ever been about this world, this whole world was just to show you how to activate and what else activation can do until these jerk offs got into this matrix, created a sub matrix and put people in that matrix through language and through a few other things, mainly how we think, how we visualize, how we thought, how we thought what you thought. Because the thought makes up the past. When every time you have a thought, it becomes the past. So the power of thought is like the power of creating the projection from the past. And that gives you the materials of what you're creating the future with. So this is stuff you can't tamper with. So I first want to start this off very basic. Very basic. I'll tell you this. If this guy. The final trumpet. He may be their last president. <laughs> if this guy can recover from this shit that they say going on out here. And if this guy can recover from it with his health record, you know something got to be going on. I don't care if you say, well, that's because they say the special medicine and blah, 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 blah. I don't care what you're saying. It's already time for you to be like, okay. Let me get real serious because they play in the game. If this dude can come back a few days later and go long winded for a whole whatever he did out there. I know he did like two, three hours out there with no reason, no nothing. <laughs> come on now. And then they got you scared. Now, here's another thing. Think about this. Now, of course, because I'm financially inclined, I know when someone is shielding something, it's called a shield. This means that this person is like just trying to sell something. Not only are they trying to sell something, they're trying to sell somebody else's something. So they kind of come in and they're just like, you know, they're paid to sell the product. So they shield the product. Okay. So this dude gets up there and says, Regeneron, Regeneron, and one more, maybe one more. And then he says another name, right? Any person knows that this is an inside trade. This is when three weeks earlier, somebody pays somebody else and then says, hey, make sure when we sell into this wall, <laughs> because we're going to start once we, he says this, these stocks will go up. But we already own the stocks. We're buying them off the floor. And then when you say it, they're going to go up, and we're going to sell into the wall. That just means that we're going to sell as people are buying them. We're going to sell all ours and then they're going to get stuck with that. And then when the floor come out, it's going to drop back down, rinse, rewind, repeat. Anybody familiar with financial technologies knows that this is so. So you got somebody in there, basically, and you got people in the world right now in control that they are the biggest drug dealers in the world. In the world. And to set the record straight, to lay down the rules, to be up in an Alkibulanian mainframe this life what people will call a black man to try to insist that my people are the drug dealers of the world. Shame on you. And this is the reason why I'm carpet bombing everything. They don't call me Bobar for nothing today. All of it <laughs> eradicated weapons of mass creation. The real deal. See, they're killers. They destroy things. They kill things. They hurt. They pull away. They take away. They destroy we give, we love, we create, we produce life. That's the only difference in the power. The power is the exact same except for what you're going to do with it. But by all means, if you don't know what it is, <laughs> this is it, man. You will be getting pelted and thus for thousands of years, my people have been in this situation where their generations are eradicated. And remember, since we're all a rainbow bridge of family, <laughs> if you destroy the foundation, we all fall. So we all have something to do with this. And what they're trying to say, even we deserve who they're trying to say that we're even what we're even about. I'm going to tell you any time on the as below that you've been taken from your land. And you've been moved somewhere else as above. You've been taken from your constellation and you've been moved somewhere else. That's kidnapping in this world legally. 
This is, this is slave shit going on around here. So if that's as a if you can agree it's happening down here, you must agree it's happening up there. That's why we know nothing else is going on beside what you see. But can you really see? Do you have thought? Can you recollect? Do you remember what happened? Do you know who you are? And so let me show you why our ancestors kept that knowledge already available for you. You know, as some Smeagol, some supplanter is just scooping it up, just like you say in the book. He just supplanted him of all of his allotments. See, we all have an inheritance. They even have inheritance, but they don't just want theirs. They want chores. And what is the inheritance? It's the power. It's the power of your consciousness to know what you're actually inside of. Let me let me elaborate. See, right now I'm letting it breathe because it's just 710 on this side. It's only 246 people in here. I'm going to let it breathe for you for a minute just to make sure those who are destined to be here today actually get what they need. Because after this, you can fly up out of here. Like I said before, I always make sure that every time I broadcast that I'm giving you what you need to go beyond now. So that way, if you never see me again, if they cut off this damn internet, if they blink out this whole mainframe, you still will be in the know. <laughs> and like I said, inside you'll find everything. Meet me there. So here it is. So creating something that really works, because right now it's always us dealing with these failures, if you may, or these broken ass projections that keep causing us the hiccup. Every time we put a wheel into motion, if that wheel breaks down, that could even be a child. A child is a pentagram, basically, and a hexagon. But let's say directly a pentagram, a circle. So every time we create and you create something, it breaks down. Now you got to go into maintaining it. So if you don't never learn how to create perfectly with what our ancestors created perfectly, they showed you how to take volatile forces and harmonize with them. That's why the fire, earth, wind, water is so important because they each play the go-between between between the next element or the next element would just destroy it. So a cognate of that so you can see that physical in the reality so you can realize what's going on here is simple as a cat. A cat has serpent eyes but a feline's body. A feline is more closer, or a lion as you know it, a lion is more closer to a dog than it is a cat. Look at the eyes. The eyes of a lion are like this. The uh, eyes of a dog are like this. And the eyes of a serpent is like this. And the cat's got serpent eyes. What the hell's going on? It shows you as they show you in the scripts and Kimmet, they show you them doing the work. Doing the evocation to bring the cat about basically as like an energy vessel, a battery, where literally two of the most volatile forces, a snake or a lion. OK, a snake and a lion are put together. Now, if you ever observe these two in the wild, if you ever observe anything that's like a cat, even if it's a mongoose and a snake, it's on first sight. They bomb. Boom. It's boom. OK, and what's really happening, though, in the, in the world of the mages is you see these energies and you see them just jumping off and, and creating a lot of force. And then you're contemplating of how this force could be put to good use. <laughs> just like all of what you're seeing right now with power, all this is combustion It's fights, basically five being put to good use. <laughs> so. What our ancestors showed us is that I can show you how to create a body and now look at it. He'd be in there. He'd be purring and shit. And you're like, oh man, this little prana ball. But at any point where that, what you see going on dinonucleically comes apart, it's going to rip the beam in shreds. Meaning that what you see as a cat is going to go into a crazy cat mode and then destroy itself. This is how the elements are put in balance. OK, so you have symbols like the Sphinx that show you already in the pyramid. These two go together. They're literally showing you snake. And feline. A lion and a dragon. 
Okay, that's what it's saying. Now, let me show you this on a deeper level. On a deeper level, when you ask the ancients, and if you can witness it for yourself, they tell you your ancestors look more like genitalia. Huh? They say, no, they're not like cloaked in human faces and all of what you have. They're only primarily the genitalia. That's why they only worship in the past the genitalia, the, the yoni, right? And the lingam, that's it. Because in their real hyperdimensional form, that's what they are. Now, when that comes out to you finally in this sacred geometry, now that they've hacked the shit, all you have is a hexagram. Now, when you take hexagrams and you keep rolling them all over, roll it up and over, like a real potter would, it just makes a torus. The geometry of a hexagram is a torus field. It creates a donut. When you know what you're talking about and what you're doing and how to deal with geometry, it creates a donut. So you have a pentagram and then also and, and a hexagram and then you have a, a, hexa, a, a pentagram. Now what a pentagram creates when you pull it out on the metaphysical world is it creates a tube. So if you just saw these two forces in their metaphysical respect, you would see this bulbous torus field like a black hole. And then you would see this tube running through it. That's the pentagram and the hexagram when you're not sitting in here with a two dimensional good, bad mindset, looking at these images and trying to figure out what they are without looking into yourself. So now then when you look out at the pyramids and you look out at Sphinx, what it's saying is many things. It's saying, look, here's a chimera. We took fire, earth, wind, water and aether and put it all together. That's you. That's the mysteries of the Sphinx. And if you don't know that, you can't get out of here. And then what we also put back here so you can see it is this pentagram. Now you can see the top. I don't, I don't doubt that our ancestors had the whole thing on out of the ground. <laughs> Meaning you literally saw the base sitting there floated like, like nothing. Like, like it was on nothing. Like, yo, what is this? This is a big, what looks like a slat like this. Let me show you. It's big, like it's pointed like this on the top, but it's smaller on the bottom. It's slightly smaller. It looks like the Assassin's Creed symbol. It's smaller on the bottom because one is encoding the hexagram and the other one is encoding the pentagram together. Okay, so now when you can put a torus or i.e. a hexagram and then a pentagram or a pipeline, a pole together, what do you get? Life. So I don't doubt at all that our ancestors slam big, what you would see as diamonds from the sky. They call them worm. When they fall, they even spin while they're falling. And then when they hit, they burl in like seeds. And then from within them, the fire is inside. That's what pyramid means. The fire is inside. And what comes forth from that fire is life. Now, if you want to doubt that at all, look at the woman, look at the goddess, but then also see in the mystery. OK, well, hold on. I thought that the goddess was the serpent. Let me show you how confusing people confused people are about occultism. Yet yeah, they proclaim that they know they proclaim that they've touched the power. Then why did you not see it? The serpent and the goddess are two totally different emblems because what they show is also the secret to what we call males and females, which you cannot confuse for the divine feminine masculine. That's why I was trying to explain to people that the male and the female are only inside out from each other. They're only flipped inside out, just like the genitalia show you. It's just flipped inside out. But how do you know that? How do you know that? Not only because Hopeless is a track and two poles in the hole, like you're trying to actually get something to connect. But how do you know that one is the opposite or flipped out of the other? It's because of the esoteric symbol of the snake and the goddess. So would you realize what's happening in the symbolism? What they're saying is, is that, see, the goddess, the goddess is this womb, is the Taurus. It's a black hole. Okay. While this snake <laughs> is what is going inside of that womb. Okay, now that's this is now this is this is an advanced state of awareness 
and, and visualization. And it goes one more level up. Let's imagine that we're just in metaphysical space. And I'm inside of something. A vault or womb. So inside, I'm literally enveloped by it. This is what's creating this Taurus, if you may. However, if I was on the outside of it, it probably would appear like a tube. So the connection between the snake and the goddess is that they are one. That is the androgynous secret, the key. Because what it shows proficiently is that actually it's a matter of perspective. <laughs> it's whether you're in or whether you're out. To what power you're actually carrying. Because when you go back to the basic fundamentals, it's like, are you using the hexagram? Or are you using the pentagram predominantly? It's as simple as that. And now what we're living in is where someone has taken that deep knowledge. And they've wrought destruction by externalizing it. They blocked the door so everybody else couldn't enter, but they could not also enter themselves. What this means is, is that to activate this, you have to go within yourself. They cannot go within themselves. Their actions and their deeds all the time allow them not to be able to. So they bar the door so that you can't get in, meaning they take the mysteries of the four. They take the mystery of what they call the tetragrammaton. They take the hidden word from you. The word is a world. It's a hidden world. What is the hidden world? It's the four. It's the door. What is the four? Occultists, what the hell are you doing? Fire, earth, wind, water. This is the only four. So, Mikeo, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, earth, <laughs> fire, wind, water. So, there's, there's really no angel, some white angel running around. If it's, a, if it's any kind of genderfied or uh, a racialized angel, there's an angel of every color. That's why in cultures, when they generally draw angels, they draw the angel looking like them. Because the secret is the angels are also cohabiting with men. But let me show you how this works. And women, let me show you how this works. So what an archangel is, which is the ark, fire, earth, wind, water. OK, so what an archangel is, is an archangel is more of like an intelligence. That's what it's referred to in occultism, an intelligence. And this means something very specific in occultism because it means that an intelligence is not like what we are. What we are is we like making choices. We like saying no. We like disobeying and all sorts of stuff. Intelligence does not do that. Intelligence obeys. And that's why any may just knows all those intelligences, those entities, they only take commands. And in the event that any of those intelligences, which are generally shards of the primal elements themselves, try to take on their own consciousness and go into reason, they fall. Not in a negative fall, but a fall that they now gain, they become enamored with sentience. It's the same thing you did. You once were just an element, just fire, just earth, just wind, just water. And you were obedient. So when the gods, which are us, say, hey, become an ocean. Hey, become a, you just go and do that. <laughs> but at any point, you start saying, well, as a drop, why do I got to be in the ocean? What if I want to be on land? And boom. Because see, in the massive mainframe, that means that, like they were trying to talk about in, in Tron about the, uh, the, uh, what do they call them? The ISO, isometrics. What are they? ISO, the I, ISOs. Okay, so this is basically where something in the system starts to become sentient. It starts to have thoughts, so it moves off the main frame of a, just taking commands. Okay? So that answers everything for you, really, because it lets you know, well, who are these people around you? They're beings that fell because they came into reason. Now they're wandering around. They're like blind because they're looking for eyes to see, ears to hear. Now they think they have them. That's the false illusion. 
That's the artificial intelligence. Okay? Now, how do they create artificial intelligence? Simple. All they've been working on is artificial intelligence for the last two or three thousand years. Fake ass intelligence, fake knowledge. Okay? What it what how are they cooking that up though? It's being cooked up through the religion. Period. As long as when you visualize the four beasts around the throne, Revelations is looking all scary to you, and you don't realize the four beasts around the throne are fire, earth, wind, and water, because they've made them up there sitting with Santa Claus and all of this, putting a man even in the center when we know that the, the womb is in the center. I mean, come on, you can't change the blueprint. It doesn't mean that either piece in the blueprint is more than the other. It just means that if it ain't in order, Doc, that's where we failed as a people. And I'm talking about this whole world. We failed because we're not seeing the order. And if we admit, if we admit this failure, that's the next level. Because then you have destroyed the ego. Bam! You cracked the egg. Let go of my ego. You cracked the egg. And then now you're ready to come into that sunshine. You're ready to come into that real awareness of who you truly are. And then all of this stuff that they keep cooking up to work against you. You still see these people. They over here praying. All of them, they're into it. This is how disgusting it is. That's why I said it, I got so upset and then I just came back around again and I was like, because it cost us. It's costing us thousands of souls. Crazy experiences that we could be doing it all. We could be on the big time period. And this will still, this is like 2,000, 3,000 people while you'll still be looking at people pretending that they know that they've ever been able to actually turn on the vehicle. And here's another thing, because some have turned on the vehicle before. The level of power takes extreme responsibility. This is why when they turn on a little star, after they turn them on a little bit to a little bit of occult works, they even give it, most of these cats are under, giving the knowledge under the guise that it doesn't already belong to them, that it comes from someone else. And then that someone else already knows how to envelop that person into an illusion. To make them think that, that, that they're so much and they're so great. See, they can do that right now. They're not using real spiritual power to do that. They're using their fake money, their fake corporation. They dropped the iPhone 12 or 25 today. Ah, I can guarantee you the only thing it's got is a new camera. <laughs> As they work their way to what a Hasselblad can do. You see what I mean? So... And this is what you can create. But as I told you, look at their symbol. It's an apple. It's a pentagram and it's big. Mm. We're going to take your fire. We're going to take your earth. We're going to take your wind. We're going to take your water. We're going to bite one. Mm. Because it's fire, earth, wind, water, aether. We're going to bite one and then take you completely off balance. So now all that money, all that intelligent A4, bionic, Mainframe chip microprocessor. We make the camera move three times, three thousand times every microsecond to adjust for your stabilization while you running, trying to take this shot that you ain't gonna upload anyway. Are you kidding me? And I'm supposed to sit and wait, man. That's why I said before, it was only a matter of time. Now you have the lost key. The lost key is that your ancestors work with fire, earth, wind, water. They felt it was it was more like masters learn right through the elements. You could go to Africa still, Al Kipulan today and deep in the jungle. I ain't saying go because they got that program on them too. But they would traditionally initiate you with through the elements. You were going to meet fire that day. And you were going to see how it was a part of you and what you were really a part of. You were going to meet that lion that day. To know, to dare, to will, to keep silent. Four, once again. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel. Four, once again. YHVH. Four, once again. What is the four? It's the door. And if you don't know where the door is in Wonderland, you're going to be sitting there like I cr cracked the code the other day. Uh, uh, the Wizard of Oz. Okay? You got these cats, right? They running around here playing around with this horror. They don't even know what's going on. Now they got the VR on them and they about to walk, put the AR walk on them. And then pretty soon they're going to just be trying to open that up into their space. Right. 
And then they watch this horror. I want to get scared. This is. I want to get scared tonight. I want to see if it's going to horrify me. Okay? Because he's playing. Because if I bring any of them entities out, he, he's gone. <laughs> he's running. And he'll kill himself how he'll run because he'll, he'll be so scared. So meaning that they play with the horror and the darkness and the distortions. And me, uh, excuse me, the distortion. They play with the distortion, but they don't really want to see the distortion. They don't really want to like have it here, do they? So let me show you what that's like in the Wizard of Oz. You remember when the lion, when he first run up on the scarecrow in them, which got their archetypes too? They're the archetypes that are inverted when your, your being is broke. So the lion comes up, right? And he's big and bad. And I'm like, horror, mega death. And then when she slapped him, oh man, he fell apart. Why you have to go and do that? Because he didn't have courage to know, to dare. See, that second angel, that second element, which is fire, is what allows you to dare. But he didn't have that, so he got smacked. And right away, you can see, he, well, you weren't ready to dare. So, <laughs> musician... And magician. You see that? For my etymologist, you see that? No, sir, I see it. <laughs> magician and musician. What is the difference? A S? Right? Check it out. And a G. Do you know what the G stands for? In G Freemasonry, do you know what the generative component is? Look, you got a hexagram there, right? What is that? It's a womb. It's a box. It's the woman's womb. So what's coming forth from the center? Generation. Okay, it's a symbol of abundance. Generation, I can create. I can create lots of things. I can create insects, animals. Knowing the knowledge of the four elements, the Taurus and the pentagram, I can create all these different things. So now I can generate that's what the G stands for. And then the S. If an S ain't a snake, you need to go somewhere else. Because <laughs> the codes will be completely off here. An S is a snake. Just like the two still looks like a swan, because that's what it is. It's a symbol of the swan. The S is a symbol of a snake. So then, what is being said <clears throat> about these power words about a magician and a musician, and that's what I was saying earlier to you about how the generative components, one is a goddess, and it's a womb, it's a Taurus. Do not confuse this for a human, what do they call it, an earthbound human woman. You will lose. It's even what's behind a female sperm whale's eyes. <laughs> a female cephalopode's eyes. OK, that's the being we're talking about. It, it takes on all these different forms because it knows how to work fire, earth, wind, water. There are many entities that know how to work that in other countries where they're silent right now. You'll hear them saying nothing. They're all up in their mouths and they're like, look, just leave us alone. This is what they're doing. You perform first evolution. OK, let me show you. Remember, I told you that word absolution. Hold on, let me clear my throat. <clears> throat> Absolution. We talked about absolute, right? Father solving. We talked about all of that. So the other one is absolute. Abolution. Okay, what is abolution? Abolution is hygiene. Okay, because before you go into a creative space, creative space is very similar to when a body is about to be opened up in a surgeon's room. Okay, everybody needs to be covered up because foreign bacteria and all that getting inside of something that's open is going to infect it and cause problems. So the first thing any of us ever did when we were approaching the creatrix mainframe was evolution. Generally, this always had to do with anything around the number five, five times prayers a day. You remember that? <laughs> anybody who had to do those? So there's also there's the the voodoo, right? The washing. OK, 
Some call it also the LBPR, the original lesser banishing uh, pentagram ritual. Hygiena, which is the symbol of the pentagram. Hygiene. With a, one snake in a pole, which means fire. That's not a caudaceous snake. That's one snake in a pole. That's Ascalipus, not Hermes. One snake in a pole, fire, hygiene. Let's blow this whole thing out. Why? Why would you need to do that before you go into a creative space? Well, I just told you, like a surgeon... But on a spiritual level, before you walk into the framework to actually create, you blow out all of the pipelines. It looks like a cross. It's a hypercube. And you do that because just the same reason why. What happens if you go two, three days without taking a bath? What happens if you go a few hours without taking a bath, especially in somewhere dusty, somewhere hot? So how do you think you're going to be in hyperspace for you're calling it 24 hours? We, time is measured totally differently. But how are you going to be in hyperspace for that long and then try to approach the throne of yourself all dirty and filthy, not knowing how to do banishing? Banishing means wash, 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 take it all out. Because then what happens is you go into a creative space, you haven't actually cleaned yourself. Now you're hearing other entities or uh, what we call distorted magnetics. You're hearing that through thoughts. Now, in your creative space, you're wide open having thoughts that are not yours, creating things for something else. That's how they're funding their illusion. So you can expect that it's going to continue. If you look at what I'm saying to you right now and how clear it is, all this stuff would make perfect sense. You just roll all together. Even the four gospels and all this, they just roll all together. Like what you know, the power, the beast around the throne. Like I said, the tetragrammaton, fire, earth, wind, water, you know, all of this power. But see, there's a, there's a hitch. <laughs> the hitch is you can't hold it. It has to run through you. It was like the secret to the whole thing. Even if you want to be a prophet, not a pastor, but the prophet, you have to let the Holy Ghost roll through you. You couldn't hold the Holy Ghost. It'll rip you apart. So see that what they're talking about right there, that what they have corrupted right there, that that virgin that they have adulterated right there. What it really is about is about your consciousness. And how your con how what condition your consciousness has to be in in order to make a successful quantum leap through your hypercube. And also when you're in this space, it's not to create <laughs> a bitly. Like those, all that stuff is just trickle downs. I'm not saying you can't have, they, they, they clearly have figured out something to get in material objects, but oh my goodness, the limitation. If you just only thought about creating those things, I can't stand these posts. I keep seeing them. They're like, they're just like these wallets of money or whatever. And they say, like or comment on this. And if you do, this, this blessing of money will come to you. Man, come this is kindergarten. I've been seeing this. This is we might as well send this chain letter to 13 more people. And then it will unlock a special gift in your life and you'll know that it's coming. We can't. That's that's not magic, people. That's not consciousness. That's not a miracle. You can really see these things in yourself. And most importantly, you can feel them. See, the master trains blindfolded because he has to feel like this is learning. This is unlearning. You need both. You, you get wound up in a world, world, you need to know how to unwind. That's the Yoda. Now you must, you got to unlearn. <laughs> you got to unlearn. So you would have to have that, that yin yang. You would need to know those poles, i.e. masculine, feminine, and their power. But it's more than that. It's masculine, positive, negative, feminine, positive, negative. If you want to make it, try to simplify it for yourself. And as I mentioned earlier, see, our ancestors, they like you just to deal with the element. The zoomorphication came later on. That's what I was saying also about, listen, people think that they figured it out. They become disenchanted. That's why they're turning to the fear and the horror because they're looking for something new. They're looking for to be startled, to be started because they keep cutting off because they think that they have discovered what's really here already. And it's 
cloaked itself and shielded itself from them. So they'll say, oh, it's just a beetle. It's just a beetle. Do you know what beetles even are? Do you know what there's different beetles too? Do you know there's beetles that stay underground for like 10 or 15 years and then come out on one specific day? How do you know beetles? But then what people do is they see the beetle now, oh, it's just a beetle. And they're looking for now, if it was a, some, a chupacabra or something, then it gets them going, oh shit, oh shit. That hasn't been identified before. <laughs> this is how they are, right? Thinking they've identified the beetle. And they have not. So see, this is what, there's this, the, we call that the void. Okay? Because now they're void. They don't know, they, they can't even enjoy what's here and they're looking for something to come. They want to go somewhere else. I want to go to Mars. Look how desperate. I want to go somewhere else. And they ain't even, you haven't even, because this is rejecting you. That's why if you want to go somewhere else, it's because this doesn't like you. She's not turned on by you. She's not attracted to you. And if you go somewhere else, because all of these are of the same geometrics, it's going to be the same thing. So any idea of going somewhere, getting something different than what you have now, it's not possible. You have everything here within. But if you don't have your power, see, that's why I'm here. You left something with me. <laughs> I'll just give you your power. <laughs> Say la vie. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you within. That ring of Thanos. <laughs> you have it. You see on Captain, Captain America's shield, you see that pentagram? <laughs> this is why they love the power. Oh, it's the goat god. <laughs> this is fanciful. I got a one cat. He just elaborates on how many Intentional mistakes are in the Golden Dawn OTO's work. They put the angels in the wrong order. They change up the names. They give another meaning of the symbols. They are shipwrecking every single adept. Any people that generally aspire to really do this, it's, it's a real thing. You know, it's like it's not everybody's not into it. To be an adept, everybody's not into it. That's one thing I will say. <laughs> Not everybody was trying to figure out everything going on with themselves. Man, but to actually eliminate that in the world is ridiculously dangerous. These are the beings that we need making the decisions. This is why anyone, that, this is the Mashiach. Stop letting them play with you. The activation, once a being is activated, fire, earth, wind, water, with no ego, meaning that they're not trying to hold the force. Because see, when you hold the force, because in your arms alone, you got planets basically running down your entire arms and all down your columns. OK, so that's what the cross is. But you ain't up there like this all beat up. <laughs> that's what it, this is the hypercube. You're not in the hypercube or the hyper wheel all beat up with a crown of thorns on your head. No. But if you hold on to the power, you will be. That's like holding the divine feminine force where she's free flowing. She's a goddess. She's free. She wants to be free. Like I can't explain to you enough that in all the cult, all the cult literature it shows that there's an energy that has to be free. It's like it's an air energy. Imagine you're trying to hold air in a room or in a cube or in any damn thing. You see, do you see air being held right now? Do we hold air for a prolonged period of time? And these people want freedom. Or they want to be free. But then they want to take the power and they want to hold any kind of power that they have. Power is current. That's money, that's whatever. It's got to keep flowing. Like I put it out and it keeps coming back and I put it out. People say, hey, seven, thanks, seven. I love you, seven, a great grace. And then you did the same thing, man, great, man, co-creation. Let's do, uh, uh, you know, a little dance or whatever. And just keep moving with this because I know, I know the dangers of trying to hold that energy in. Yes, it's me. More than my feet. <laughs> also real diabolical. I'm holding all the energy, you know, and then it's, it's, it corrupts. It's power. So it's like trying to hold through your copper wire an infinite amount of voltage. Okay? 
That's why they got corrupt. They burn out right away. They just, like you can't. There was beans configured. You have to be configured to hold the power. Or it's just like you sent five million kilojoules right through. <laughs> Damn. This is what would happen to not be able to, to, uh, to block. You see what I mean? And not let the power flow free. You can have everything you ever want. As long as you're willing to not withhold it from others. But see, now they got everybody in this point to point system. You're all playing the game. They're scrambling. They don't know the truth. It's a shame right now that the top representatives of the fake ass Illuminati happens to be these Alki Bulanians half the damn time. I mean, these cats can sing. They can rap. You got these Nephilim running around. That's the NFL. They're bigger. They have more soul force. And then they don't even know how to distribute that to all of the beings that look up to them. There is an order. But if you corrupt the order, that's what they did. Like if you want to know what Freemasonry is, it was an order and it's corrupted. Originally, what was it? It was the Freemasons, the ones that Solomon conscribed to build the temple when Solomon built the temple, he built the temple with angelics, intelligences, and spirits. And those, the spirits were the Freemasons. When they were set free, they roamed out in their own order, building and conscribing, but they didn't have a master anymore. So in, 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 <laughs> to make it very simple for you, there are beings here that know this. They do have a certain level of power. Your ancestors knew this. They built the temple. We built an external hypercube. That's what the pyramid are, is. And there's many more. We built heaven on earth. That is to bring a womb. That's heaven. You look at heaven. What's up there? It's a vast open space, it seems like, a black hole. So when we built one on Earth, we built a hypercube. So in the center on the delta, there's a black hole there. And it's a portal jump through all sorts of stuff going on. Look, and we're sitting back and listen, man, they turn you on in an iPhone 13. This is what you get. This is the thanks I get. If you would really act like that, you will be able to tap into something. Who you are and what you are, and what you're made out of is so amazing. And this little stuff that they're giving us is the thanks we get. They give us a little stimulus. They give us a little something like that, man. That's why I'm saying, see, what happens now is, see, this knowledge goes into the hands of certain kind of beings. And they're already calibrated to activate. They just needed to know what the truth of the matter was. They were looking at these external, these external entities like these Eidolons, which look like angels. Oh, my girl. He'll come swoop down and everything with blonde hair and all that. When really, it's just not even a man. <laughs> like the fire element and the air element and the water element. Like, what are you doing? That's how you're getting your, your program hack. You're visualizing it. Imagine him as a, he's a man. And come on, are you serious? Oh, okay, okay, he's genderless. He's genderless and he's got these wings. And this is what you visualize. Brothers, mothers, sisters, uncle, uncles, aunties, cousins, wake up. White folks, pink folks, green folks, orange folks, gray folks, black folks, gray folks. I don't care. Wake up. You are being played. We all got played. And the only way we get out of this together, because you can get out by yourself. <laughs> like, that's just the whole thing. Getting out together is like a side mission that we run because it's still up to you to flip the switch. I can't flip the switch for you. You could be over there like, man, this is entertaining. Shoot. And then go right back into st just gone. 
Like none of this is even it doesn't even matter. You have a whole powerful field around you just sitting there getting used. So let me explain to you. Lastly, since we call them intelligences. Because they're like more of like a, they're like more like computer codes. That's what I really need you to understand. They don't have the elements don't have personalities. Beyond like like you. OK, they do have temperaments. That's why words are real big and the key to understanding all this. They have temperaments. But as far as personalities and all of that, like problems and beef and they want to scare and that, that's not them. So how this worked is, is that when you knew how to operate that element, you knew the formula in order to create what it is that you were looking for next. Whatever you preferred. But you got to realize now that there's a central intelligence. If the intelligence are, are the intelligences are only basically mainframes to create things. Don't you think central intelligence would kind of be saying that they know about all those elements? And they know how to call on those elements and utilize those elements. Right. But do you. Because, see, that's just one. Of, that's just one. That's the bird. Look at their symbol. It's just the bird. It's the air. The U.S. Everything about them is air. That's why they don't got no ground. <laughs> Supreme air power. That's all they got. No legs. Superman. Big chest. No legs. No roots. If you look at all these people around in this legislation and all of them evoke air. They keep running in here with that same emphasizing that same element. Throwing everything off balance. So now. You have at least an opportunity for yourself. Now I want to see this thing all the way through. It's like. I'll be here infinitely like it's really not a game. I'm not only the client, I'm the president. I've activated it myself with a clear heart, a clear mind, wanting nothing, wanting to get rid of everything. Notice the difference. This is a simple difference here. Turning on the power, wanting to get rid of everything versus turning on the power, wanting to have everything. Do you see the difference? So what do most people do? I want the power because I want. So what kind of magic are they practicing then? See, I, when I turn on the power, I said, I'm done. Take all of it. <laughs> it's weighing me down. Thank you so much for the will to leave all of this stuff. Because it's like a vortex. I was going to stay in downtown in a pit. House. Look at this. Thing. You're downtown in a vortex in a pit, which basically means a pin in the pit house. They got you. <laughs> you try to get out. Oh, my goodness. All types of complaints, all types of rebuttals, all types of convincing going on. To get out of something like that, you have to reverse the code that you're running on. You have to reverse your spin. That's how I did it. I reversed my spin. So when I called upon my higher self. And I unlocked that four, which was that door. And I became at that moment, which is on that book, the Ark Chariot. Prime mobile. That's when finally I had stepped into myself. And I can still remember before then how much I thought I really knew about how all everything worked. To be floored, my whole foundation was de my whole old foundation was demolished as every single thing that I thought to be true was proven to be false. And as I said before, higher self said to me, yeah, James, you like to play games. You got too much weight. So you're going to wait. You're trying to get light. So you need to get you, you need to get light. <laughs> you need to get light. 
You're too heavy. You got too much stuff. Like you can't go anywhere with all of this. All these people weighing you down. All of these trinkets. These cars. Weighing you down. These phones. Get out. But see, it wasn't just that though. See, I have, I'm a hard head. <laughs> so I had to really see it. I had to see the whole world open up. For two weeks. You see all sorts of work being done all on the buildings, like I said, at night. Masonic work, weird symbols and shit. If you know what you're looking for. And then that's when I said, man, I got, man, I got, I'm gone, man. None of this is real anymore. All my old life is not even real. I don't even, I'm gone. That's why I went to Costa Rica. And I just sat in a room. No more penthouse. I was up in a, like a, a, a somewhat of a poor neighborhood. <laughs> Sitting in a room, renting from somebody else, them staying in the house too. And I felt great. <laughs> I had escaped. I reversed the program. I changed destiny. And then I kept going. I was like, look, after I had settled in, I was like, this was great. But what's wrong with you? I said, shoot, man, it's not really going to be like what it is until we let everybody else know. I was like, I can't enjoy it unless I at least did my best and let everybody else know. And that started this. Now it's 10 years. I feel like I've been saying the same thing since the beginning in a different way. Each time you may hear it, it may sound like something new. I'm constantly fascinated anyway by the experience. So it's not like I'm really watching. <laughs> I'm here to co-create with you. And like I said, do the best that I can, especially in this language. To let you see who you really are. I think personally one of the most wildest things is to experience it and to still be sitting here at this stage with humanity, to be honest. To, to know, it's like, if there is anything that's like a burden or hurts or, you know, weighs on you, is to know what is really possible because you went into it and you can even turn it on and turn it off. But you see your brothers and sisters still like, not having it yet. And then you see like, as you look deeper and deeper, you see the details. Like even the whole Christ myth, every single part of it is just all taken into a story to monopolize the truth about who you really are. Then all of these, like I said, now the angels, the enemies and all that good angel, the bad angel, the kill humans and all this kind of stuff, man. They didn't took all this stuff. Now the pyramid. Now they, they take the pyramid. Now they got people, oh, the pyramid is a bad pyramid. Then they pentagram. The pentagram is a bad pentagram. Everything they touch. Think about it. In fact, know about it. Everything they touch, they corrupt. Even our children. Our society, everything they touch, they corrupt. So they touch our symbols. They touch our power. And they try to take it and they try to own it. Control it. They're so afraid. That's the whole thing with this. They're afraid. They're afraid that you're going to get the power and do what to them what they did to you. Some are also afraid of tapping into the power for that same reason, that they may do that. Extremely noble beings. And I'm here to tell you. Kill them with kindness. <laughs> Weapons of mass creation. Vanquish them in full spectrum light. Transmutes. Don't hold anything. See, that's how they bar the way. When they do something to us and it causes pain, 
pain is a blockage. You know that pain is a blockage. It's as clear as day, right? Like, of course, even on the physical, if you get hit, bam, on the football field, you can rupture stuff and it causes a blockage from the energy moving, the blood moving, everything is blocked. So when we get hurt, it causes a block. So if we activate it, hurt, we explode. That's why they bring a controller in. They activate these stars and actors. Then they bring a controller in. Because now he's got to regulate. He's got to compartmentalize. He literally has to <clears throat> shut off certain parts of this being's auric field and body, like acupuncture, to keep them functional. So it's deep here. Like I said, don't let him convince you that illusion means it's not real. Illusion means it's made of light. Illuminati is a master of light. It's the royal science. Light code. Frequencies only. High level shit. Nobles. Gases. Argon. Xeon. You only put that in your cars. You don't know what it's like to sit down and meditate next to Xenon. But yet you'll let them serve you up a God named Zeno. It's wild up in here. And I can tell because a hypercube doesn't have a time frame in it. People think that they're going to die. This is an infinite thing. We figure it out now or you're forever trying to figure it out. But you take the key now. This is the key they're holding. The tetragrammaton. Fire, earth, wind, water. That's what that means. Don't let them tell you anything else. They go off. Oh, he high, Ashby high. He's the great Metatron and blah, blah, blah. And they will lead you into a dark pit with Eidolons terrorizing you. They have real shit. They have turned on in there. But if you know what it is within yourself, if you know you are the archangels, that they're around you spinning like cherubim, Right. So it's a vehicle of fire, wind, earth, water all around you. This is creating a field. And the reason why you can't see it is because you're so far away from it. Meaning that we, our frequencies are so far away from the truth. We can't even see ourselves anymore. We don't see the powerful force moving around us. But I feel it. I feel it. And since my feelings is deeper than my sight. Think about that. Your feelings are deeper. You can feel stuff. You can sense stuff. And it goes further than sight will go. So you tap into that. And you let that tell you where to go and what to do. And then also remember, this is your power. You created this. Your eyes closed, my eyes don't. <laughs> so what happens is you have a certain level of responsibility. You're projecting the mainframe. You're choosing many things. So you need to get control of your ship. You need to grab the wheel. Or else you're going to be careening into this fictitious abyss. So there's your reward. Meaning if you do this, great things. And here is your punishment. If you don't do it, well, they're going to keep abusing and slaving. They will never tell you this. That's what actually, that's what becomes just, I just get flabbergasted. Literally about, they just, all these books. Nobody just keeps it dry. Look, this is this. You know this because this is how your parents work, right? This is the two fungal dating components. We good? Okay. So on the hyperdimensional plane, if you notice this same shape here, go, let's pick up this rose here. You see that? Okay. Now let's pick up this papaya. You see that? Okay. So now let's pick up this sunflower. You see that? So anyway, if you measure the angle on this, this is what it actually gets you to. You see this? Okay. So this is what this means. It doesn't mean somebody else. It doesn't mean their power. It doesn't mean a man. It doesn't mean a God on a throne. It doesn't mean any of that unless that all relates to what you're doing with it. And that's how you get your power back because then you operate from the center. Now your central intelligence. Now the bird, you know, is all up there now. Now you have sight. You can see what's coming so that you can change your destiny. You see what I mean? trying to cut that thing off now okay so i'm gonna stop this so it's on wax hold us in balanced vibrations i'll see you soon it's all happening check out sovereignty mentorship is going on in there 
images and everything related to the light codes, what you need, wealthybot.io, night and day, making it work for you rather than you working for it. That's what we're all about. I'm going to keep it moving because we want to make sure this thing does its recording so we can see, so others can see the, uh, the archives, wholeness. <laughs>